Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Tuesday, April 16th, 2024, and I am coming on here with a wings update video for April, finally. And I am also gonna announce the winners of the thank you gifts for the March, February, March donations. So stick around, please. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose, I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers along with other things in my Etsy shop. So please go check out my Etsy shop if you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items. It really does help me out a whole lot and I do appreciate it. So I live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter, her nickname is Carrots like the vegetable, and one rescue dog, his name is Camo. And for the past couple years, you guys have helped me with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area called Wings. So all of the links for Wings will be down below in the description box, along with anyone that I mentioned that has a YouTube channel, their links will be down there below as well. So they were one of the first, um, one of the only places that I could find back during the pandemic that would accept handmade donations and they're still accepting them. Um, they do have a very specific list of what they want every month. So that list is down below in the description box and it's also a pinned announcement in the Facebook group if you wanna go and check that out. So for the month of April, they were looking for, and they're still looking for fidget toys, uh, worry worms and um, stress balls. So if you would uh, like to make any of those and that send those in, you can do that through the end of this month. Um, for May, let me see what May was. Okay, so May is makeup bags, hair ties, scrunchies, and um, knotted headbands. And that's a limit of two per person on those. And then if you wanna get a head start for June, they're looking for diaper bags. So just so you guys know, you can crochet, you can knit, you can loom knit, you can machine knit, you can buy them from the store, you can sew things by hand with a sewing machine, um, purchase them from the store, I think I said that. Any, any kind of way you wanna send in your donations, they would be more than happy to take them. Um, so, Keep that in mind, I will be showing you some April packages that I got. And um, I think someone did put in a couple of other months in there, but it's fine because they're little things. Um, so if you wanna get a head start, go ahead and get a head start. Um, I did also wanna let you know that um, I have been talking about this in my yarn yakin videos that I have a friend, a local friend, her name is Paula, and she is collecting washcloths for a um, local organization here also called We Pop Up. Um, and a couple of people have sent in washcloths uh, in, in their bags uh, with their donations for wings washcloths <laughs> for that organization. So I want to say thank you in advance for that. Um, I also want to let you know that the gentleman that I volunteer with on Saturdays, um, he also works with a um, homeless organization um, also here in the Chicago area. And he texted me the other day and said, hey, you have any washcloths? And I said, no. And he goes, I need 500. <laughs> so I will mention this also on my yarn yakin videos. But if anyone is so inclined to keep sending me washcloths all year, because he is looking for 500 washcloths, and they could be any size, any color, any design, knitted, crocheted, it doesn't matter. And then my friend Paula is also looking for washcloths, but she didn't need 500. So <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there. There was a year that we did collect washcloths for wings, and I think we got about 3,000 washcloths. So um, if you guys just want to send washcloths whenever you want, that would be amazing <laughs> since now um, I've been tasked to get 500 washcloths. So any donation washcloth that I get now and in the next Yarn Yakin video will go to Paula at Lee Pop Up. Um, but if you do want to donate washcloths and you want to specify where you want it to go, you can either say We Pop Up or you can say the homeless organization or you don't have to say anything at all. And I'll make sure it all goes to a good cause. The, either one of them will get the washcloths. <laughs> so, all right. So today I have six donations to show you. But before I show you the six donations, I want to tell you um, about the winners for February, March, because this year for Wings, we started like halfway through February. So February and March uh, were crocheted dolls and uh, or knitted dolls or store-bought dolls. <laughs> so we had 18 total donations in February slash March, and I have six winners. So the winners, thank you gifts are basically my way 
and our community's way of saying thank you to those who have sent in donations for wings. And most of these thank you gifts are donated by, <laughs> by like my subscriber friends uh, or myself or other YouTubers as a way of saying thank you for donating. Um, and by the way, speaking of donating, I really do encourage you to donate locally if you can. So if you have any um, like hospitals or NICU units or cancer wards or veteran organizations, homeless shelters in your area, give them a call or email them, go to their website, contact them and see if there's anything that they could use that's handmade that you could do. Um, it just helps your community. It saves on postage because we all know postage is crazy. So, and either way, wherever you donate, you're going to feel good. So, all right. So the thank you gifts. Um, I had a random number picker that happens to live in my house. <laughs> I, I told the child of mine to pick six random numbers between one and 18, and she gave me random numbers. So um, that's how I picked the winners for February slash March. Okay, so the first winner, um, oh, by the way, so today, what, did I, what is today the 16th? So you're gonna have until the 23rd. So if I say your name and you're a March winner or February, March winner, you have until April 23rd to send me an email, roselikescrochet at gmail.com. And you have to tell me what you won and you have to give me your address. Um, because some of these, I, actually most of these items are not coming from me. There's only two items that are coming from me. Um, but some people sent in items from Amazon and I don't have their address. So that's why I need you to, when you email me, <laughs> please send me your address and tell me what you want. Okay, uh, the first item is a goodie box from Diane. She's one of our subscribers here and a good friend of the channel. And the winner of the goodie box for February slash March is Re from Alabama. Uh, the next winner is a set of crochet earrings from Melanie Crochets, and uh, she does beautiful, beautiful work. You guys should go check her out. She'll be linked down below. And the winner for the crochet earrings is Belinda from New York. Then uh, there is a project bag uh, from my personal stash. I didn't make them, but I have a whole bunch of project bags that I'm not using, so I'm going to be giving one of those away every month. And the winner for that bag is Rosalie from Pennsylvania. And then I have four stitch marker sets. Those are from my Etsy shop, I made them. And the winner for those stitch markers is, and by the way, they're already pre-chosen. I already have them all packaged up and ready to go. The winner for those stitch markers is Sharon from Wisconsin. Then we have a furls hook from Romaine, who is also a good friend of the channel. Uh, and the winner for the furls hook is Regina from North Carolina. And the last thank you gift is a notions bag from Rochelle at EJ's daughter. And the winner for the notions bag is Cherie from Virginia. So you guys have until the 23rd to send me an email, tell me what you won and your shipping address. And um, I will probably won't, um, well, as soon as you send me your information, I'll send it off to the person who's supposed to send you the gift. <laughs> anyway, it works like that. So if you are a creator, like a content creator, and you design something or you make something or you sell something in your Etsy shop and you wanna be a part of the thank you gifts, just send me an email and let me know and I'd be more than happy to add you to the gift list. <laughs> All right, so like I said, we only have six packages today. Um, I actually thought there was gonna be more, but I have like three or four packages, maybe even more than that, that just had washcloths in them. So um, since that's not really part of Wings, um, I'm gonna do that in the next Yarn Yakin' video. Okay, so the first package that I have for today <clears throat> is from, let me see here, from Suzanne. And I have to show you the stamps that she put on on her envelope. Hold on, let me let me hide her address here because they're so cool. You guys, I love old cars. Suzanne, these are the coolest stamps ever. Check that out. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you guys are if you guys like old cars, let me know in the comments what's your favorite old car because that's awesome. And the back um, of the envelope says, this is from a cat house. <laughs> so um, if you have cats and you would like to donate, that's totally fine. But just keep it all in plastic bags and let me know so I don't open them up because I'm very allergic to cats. 
Okay, so I have a note here and it says, hi Rose, just a few worry worms for wings. Love your videos, Suzanne from New Jersey. So thank you so much, Suzanne, I appreciate it. And she sent a bunch of worry worms, which are so exciting. Okay, so they look like this. She put them in baggies. Look at the little worry worms. Oh my gosh. And then I'm gonna read you what the little note says. It's a crochet worry worm. I'm a crochet worry worm waiting here just for you. If I've made you smile, I can be your best friend too. When you're feeling sad or a little bit low, hold me tight and watch your worries go. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So I've got a blue. I've got this pretty colored one. I've got a blue and white one. I've got a little beige one. Oh my God, they're so adorable. And a little green one. Suzanne, thank you so much for sending the worry worms. I really, really do appreciate it. I absolutely love that you guys are still donating to Wings. Um, not, It's not for me, it's for the people at Wings. And I really, really do appreciate it. All right, so here's the second bag that I have and it's my favorite color. And this is actually from another YouTuber. Her name is Christine and her channel is Christine is Crocheting. So I will link her down below if you guys want to go check her out. She's a prolific crocheter as well. Um, and I know she has a kitty cat <laughs> because I see him all the time in her videos. And she put that actually on the envelope, rusty alert meow. <laughs> so thank you, Christine. <laughs> and then on the back, it says from a kitty house. Oh my gosh, Christine, you're so funny. And I don't know why she's sending me a thank you card because um, I really am so grateful for you guys. It says, happy April, Rose. I hope you realize how much we appreciate you. Thank you for facilitating all of our donations to Wings. Take care from Christine. And she is Christine is crocheting. So like I said, go and check her out. So we've got some worry worms here too, but she also sent me a bag of fidget toys. And I really wanna fidget with them, but I know she's got the kitty cat, so I'm not going to. Um, but I think this is one of those ones where it's like you you pull it and it never ends, like you can never find the ending to it. I really wanna try and make some of those. So we've got three of the fidget toys, and then we've got some, oh, we've got these things too. Oh, these are cool. Christine, let us know what, what this, um, I'm pretty sure you said it on your channel, but I don't remember. There's these little fidget toys too. Those look super duper easy. Christine, if you could comment down below and let us know what pattern you use for these. Those are so cool. Um, it's almost like a fidget spinner, but you know, it's not the mechanical toy. Okay, and then here are the worry worms. Oh, they're so cute. Um, and she has, let me see if it's a different, um, uh, I think this might be a different saying. Okay, it says, crochet worry worm. I am a little worry worm just waiting here alone. If I have brightened up your day, I hope you take, you'll take me home. And if you're ever feeling sad, then hold me for a while. I am your little crochet pal. I'm here to make you smile. So there's her little crochet worry worm. There's one. They're so adorable. Two, three. That one's adorable too. Four. Oh, this one's the same color as that one. Five. Oh my gosh. The little baby one. Six. Christine, thank you so much for sending the crochet worry worms and those fidget toys. I would really like to know um, what the pattern is on this one because those are really, really cool. And this one too. If you could, I don't think it'll let you put links down below, but you can at least you know, tell us what, where you got that from. All right, the next one here is from Sheila. And Sheila is from Pennsylvania. And I did not see a note. So I'm gonna hope that there was no kitty cats. I don't think there was a note on the bag. No note on the bag. So there's a whole package of fidget toys. And I'm gonna show you them because these are the ones that I'm talking about. So they look like this. And there's like a little, you can pull, like you can pull on this, but it like never ends. Like you, like you never get to pull anything out. So you could just sit and like fidget with this all day long and it doesn't make noise. So there's, there's these two and then we've got these two. So cool. And then here is the last one, which is really big. So I would love to know, I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure we can just all Google or, you know, do a search on YouTube for fidget toys. 
So there's those, which are really, really cool. I'm gonna put them back in the bag. And then we have washcloths. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So these are gonna go to Paula. And there are four. And these are really a pretty pattern. Here, I'm gonna show you. I think you can see it really well on this one. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. Sheila, thank you so much for sending the washcloths. I'm gonna give these over to Paula and uh, she can take those over to the We Pop Up organization. So thank you so much. All right, we're gonna get to the next one. The rest of them didn't fit on the table. So hang on a second. Okay, you guys, the next bag comes from Shirley and she's from Washington. <laughs> and she's got an envelope taped to the bag and it says, beware of the cat, bag zipped for your protection. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> and there's little paw prints on there. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for doing that for me. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so look at that awesome card. I love it. Oh, Shirley, thank you so much. And let's see what she says. Um, Hi, Rose. Hope all is well with you, carrots and camo. Enclosed are 16 assorted colors and sizes of stress balls for April's wings donations. I'm working on some child size hat and scarf sets for later this year. Thank you for all you do for wings. No need for a thank you gift for me. I'm just happy to help in this small way. Your yarny friend, Shirley from Washington. Shirley, you're so amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm not gonna open the bag, but you guys can see all the stress balls. And I love the pattern you use, Shirley. It looks like some of them are back loop only and it gives it like a little ridge. I'm sure you guys can see that right there, right? Oh my gosh, these are so cool. So cool. I absolutely love them. And they're gonna have such a good time squishing those and getting rid of some stress. So Shirley, thank you so, so much for sending them. And I know that they are kitty approved. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, so the next package was also in a purple envelope and it comes from Kay and she is from Alabama and she did not want me to read her card online, but I'll show you the card because it's so cool. It's yarn balls in teacups with crochet hooks. Oh my gosh, I need those cards. That's awesome. Okay, so we have a couple of different packages. I have, and she has no cats. Yes, she put on the card, no cats. So we have some washcloths and I will show you guys. Oh, these are so soft. Okay, so we've got this one right here and I'm not gonna actually open up all the washcloths, but there is only two in here, so we can do that. Oh, this is so soft. Oh my gosh, Kay, I wanna know what yarn that is. I think this is like a stripey, like, um, what is that? It's not Lily and Cream, it's something called stripey, Bernat stripey or something, but it's super duper soft. Okay, and then we have, in this bag, we have uh, two purse cosmetic feminine hygiene bags and a scrunchie. Okay, so she labeled them for May. So she gave me a couple different bags for a couple different months to save on postage. So there are the two makeup bags. Those are so cute. Oh, and they're soft. And then we've got two scrunchies. That's perfect. Thank you so much. So that will go in a pile for May. And we have another bag here. Oh, okay, so this is for July. This is doll hats and sweaters for July. Oh my gosh. You guys, July is my favorite month. It's doll clothes. Shut the front door. Look at the little doll hat. Oh my gosh, this one has a flower on it. <laughs> this one's just plain pink. Oh my gosh. And this is a little doll sweater. It's a grand, it's a hexy sweater for a doll. Shut the front door. No, those are awesome. So totally awesome. Okay, thank you so much for sending those. Oh, I got my doll, my doll kick. Okay, and then this one says stress toys and fiddle items for April. Okay. Oh, cool. The little squishies, like these aren't handmade, obviously, but that, that works just fine, right? Little stress toys. And then let's see what the rest of these are. Oh, like a little fidget toy. What, that That is, um, oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know. Oh, there's a, there. okay. I knew there was like, there's a marble in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a marble and you're supposed to move it like in a maze in here. 
That is so cool. I've seen the other ones where there's more marbles in there. This one I think only has one marble. Okay, so there's that one. And then there's a bunch of these, which are fidget toys. So there's beads on there. And then you can um, twist the beads. So this is another one of those like um, not noisy fidget toys. <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch. I'm sorry, I'm just fidgeting with these because they're so cool. Oh my gosh. And there's beads up on this part too. Okay, let us know where you got the pattern. Oh my goodness, there's more. See, I think I need one of these for myself. Look at how pretty that is. Although I'm not really a fidgety person, but those are so cool. You know, if you're waiting in line somewhere, that's amazing. So that's from Kay. So we have April, May, and July in there plus washcloths. So Kay, thank you so much for sending all of these. And I, I'm gonna read your card later. And, um, and I'm gonna say I appreciate you very, very, very much. <laughs> Even though I haven't read it yet. Okay, I have one more box. Hang on guys. All right, you guys, the last box comes from Diane from New Hampshire. And guess this, yes, this is the same Diane who is sending off goodie boxes as thank yous for you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have a card from Diane. Diane, you're just amazing. I mean, you guys are all amazing, but like seriously, you're all amazing. Okay, so she says, hi Rose, here are worry worms for wings. I raided my scrap bin for the softest yarn and had a hard time stopping making these little cuties. I hope they brighten someone's day. Take care, Diane. P.S. Washcloths in the bottom of the, bat, of the box. P.P.S. No cats. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys I can't even show you all of these worry worms. Are you ready? Look at this humongous bag filled with worry worms. Like this whole thing is filled with worry worms. This is like bigger than my head. You guys, there's not just one bag of worry worms. <laughs> there's two. Are you kidding me, Diane? Oh my gosh. Look at all these worry worms. Okay, there's probably I don't know what, 30 or 40 in each bag? Yeah, there's gotta be. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna take them all out because that would take us forever, but oh my gosh. I'm gonna read what her little note says. I'm your little worry worm, keep me near, hold me tight. I'll remind you that everything will be all right. I mean, you guys, look at how many worry worms are just right there. There's, yeah, there's probably like 100 worry worms between these two bags. Oh my gosh, Diane. That is amazing. I made some worry worms too. I'll show them in the next wings video. Um, I think we can use some of the same eyes. That was like the hardest part was gluing on the eyes for the worry worms. And it wasn't even that hard. You just had to like get the glue gun out and do it, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. I absolutely am in love. Okay, and then here are the washcloths. And I think this is like a moss stitch. But you guys need to see these because they're so pretty. Okay. Oh my gosh. Diane, are you kidding me? Okay, I need to know the pattern on that, please. That is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this, you guys. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, I need the pattern, please. <laughs> and these are all, I, did you have a cone? because I have some cones and I could probably make a bunch of these washcloths too. It's like the moss stitch, but it's like a moss stitch granny square, right? Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, Diane, thank you so, so much for sending all those worry worms and then all of these washcloths. I so appreciate it. I so appreciate each and every single one of you. And if you didn't donate, it's fine. And you don't need to ever apologize for not donating or only sending in one thing. Just don't ever do it, don't apologize. Um, but if you could do me a favor and like and share the video and then leave a comment down below with what your favorite item was or um, like if you have a pattern for a stress ball or something like that. Or if you donate locally, tell me where you donate. Okay, so that is it for this video. Remember, March winners have until the 23rd to send me an email with what you won and your uh, complete mailing address so we can get your um, thank you gift shipped out. All right, that's all I have. Have a great day, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.